hour before this event. I was here an hour and a half. I don't care! So, I mean, she doesn't need people like me there. Plain and simple. Seriously, we'll find something to do. I don't have time to have little freak outs and run off out of here. Uh, you have quite a big loser tonight. This is how it ends, this is how it ends. I no, gotta take a moment. Speak. When you're ready to talk and listen, you can come back. Oh. Mark. Afternoon conviction. Yeah, hold on. It's Tommy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chef, there's a Tom Jones on the phone for you. Who? Tommy. Tell him to call Diana in two hours. Okay. I'm a chef, not a kindergarten teacher. Tommy, chef doesn't want to talk right now. Okay. Are you coming in today? I don't want to come in there. It's like a retard. Well, what do you want me to tell him then? Because, like, I mean, we all started at 11. Well, they didn't tell me to come in at 11, right? Biana will be in in two hours. He said, call her. Bye. He couldn't really give me any explanation of what happened. He didn't apologize or nothing. He just said, I don't know what the f happened. And it's not really a good enough excuse for me, but whatever. It's Tommy. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. Uh, I haven't seen her, Chef. So you're down to two again. It's like this kitchen is I like it. I like that team, man. Good morning, Justin. I'm very sorry I was late. Yeah, you're apologizing for being late. Here I am snoozing. I slept for over three hours, probably. Chef said it wasn't a big deal, that he saw me there, and if, you know, he needed me, he would have woke me up. We cut just into the slack. Obviously, because I know how it is to get off drugs. So if he needs to take naps or if he needs help with things, so be it. Where's family now? So what do we have to buy? Um... I have Justin's paycheck because he's afraid that any pocket money would go towards right. drugs. Oh so he asked me to go shopping. So we'll just use your money. Come cool. Thank you. The best thing I could have ever done is, you know, have her help me with making sure that she holds on to my money and stuff because it's a trigger for me. OK, and now the bike clock. Do you want to go to that bike place just down yeah, the street? Yeah, I just need a cheap one, really. I've had Mark on an allowance for years. It can get a little frustrating for them and for me, but it keeps them from relapsing. You know, she's doing me a favor, so I try to have to be as patient as possible. Thank you very much for doing this. Oh, no Appreciate no it. Let's go back to work. Conviction de la restaurant. Jeffrey? Chef? No, no, Tommy, no, 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 no. I just, uh, I want to tell him I'm coming in on Wednesday. Can you do me a favor, Jeffrey? Chef is here. Hey, uh, Tommy. Yeah. It's me. Hi, Chef. I'm just gonna call to tell you it's gonna come in there on Wednesday to pick up my check and then uh, talk to you. Oh, yeah, I'm not here Wednesday. Uh, can you come Thursday? Okay, I'll come. All right then. Okay, thanks, Tommy. Maggie's day starts off with a girl with the allergies, and she doesn't really need that because she's already an emotional wreck. How are we doing? You know what? She cannot eat anything. Like, she can't eat soy, she can't eat anything with wheat. I don't eat out a lot, mainly it's just because of that. I'm going to see if I can get one of the chefs out here to talk to you. Hi there. I understand there's an allergy. Yeah. And soy, gluten, um, no rice. Yeah. We'll be more than happy to accommodate you. Mm -hmm. That's not an issue. And then there are my two clowns behind the bar. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that Zoran shouldn't be back there. Behind the bar is pretty good. 
learning new things every day. Hey, what's, what's up, up player? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody else should get a chance. <laughs> guys, guys, I can hear you in the dining room. What's wrong with you? We're open. There's a table in there. Uh, sorry. Quiet. The okay, show's over. <laughs> Want to laugh it up? Go in, go in the back. OK. <laughs> Knocking the glass gets kind of tricky when you got to put everything together. Just hit it and hit it, my hand starts to hurt. <laughs> Come on, oh, Coach. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. Okay. <laughs> you want to hit it here? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well done. It's done. That was painful. <laughs> it's on a roll for you. <laughs> I just moved here today. So this... <laughs> really? From where? Uh, Nelson. That's where I lived before I came here. I'm quite impressed at how Maggie is handling her allergy table, but I think something else is going on. She seems to be flirting quite a bit. So funny I'm so glad I convinced you guys to stay, otherwise I never would have known. I totally turned that table around. She went from being like, girl, life sucks, to, oh my god, Nelson. Okay. Thank you so my much pleasure. for everything. Right. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> You're welcome. The girl with the allergies was so thankful that she gave Maggie her phone number. <laughs> I don't usually tolerate service flirting with clients, but Maggie does it with a certain grace, and not everyone has that quality. Yeah, I'm excited because a cute girl gave me her number, okay? <laughs> you just blur that out. Son of a... It's only Cassandra and Brandy in the kitchen today. They both have talents, but sometimes it creates competition. Sandra. What's up? You sprung a leak there. What? I stopped it. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's going to come up a little bit, okay. hey? Unfortunately, they are both overworked and cranky. Go on your side, man. Okay. Seriously. Well, find something to do. Clean, clean your station. I'm always over there cleaning your station at Holy the end of the night. Why didn't you have a side order and shut the up? They may be short-staffed in the kitchen, but at least they know what they're doing. Some of the servers still don't even know the menu. Unbelievable. Oh, we did have a question, though. What is yes. on omelet? Yes, what's omelet? Um, I forget, but I will be right back and find that out for you. Jay, somebody, what is the pan seared anglais again? The hanger steak. The hanger steak, that's right. Okay. It's a hanger steak. Oh, it's a steak? Yeah. Okay. So what can you tell us about the rabbit? Um, Send us somebody that knows the menu. OK. Jeffrey? We have a punch charm. Yes. Can you talk to the table 16? They're asking me all sorts of questions about the rabbit, and they I don't know the answers. Go with Justin. You could explain him. OK, let's go. What does rabbit taste like? It's white meat. She's like chicken, right? I heard that you had some questions about the menu. Tell me how the rabbit is prepared. Do you know the seasonings in the sauce? The seasonings, like it's. What is the sauce made out of? Is it a Madeira sauce? Red wine reduction? Like. I can ask. Okay, I'll be thank you. What is in the, the rabbit sauce? Tarragon. Tarragon? And infused with white wine and tarragon. OK. Thank you. No problem. OK, the sauce is infused in white wine uh, with tarragon. OK, I'll so, have that. OK. Have rabbit, OK. You want red wine or? Yeah, red, red wine would be good. Uh, give us a minute to look over the wine. Thanks. OK, great. Thank you. Thank you. Just, oh, oh, no, we want a bottle. Oh, you did want a bottle? Yes. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, sorry about that. They said they wanted two glasses of wine. So I got them two glasses. And then when I went to deliver it, they said they wanted a bottle. But they didn't say they wanted a bottle. <laughs> You're quite a big loser tonight. You cannot even do three dishes. Brent's performance is bad. He's making too many mistakes. And that's because he has another job on his days off. He's too tired. They shouldn't have worked for both days. They should have took one day to just relax. Kind of suffering for it now. I don't give a if he's working two jobs. That's my problem, you know? You can be a smart ass once you can do it on your own. But if you cannot do three dishes, I will just shut up and don't be a smart ass. I hate that attitude. 
at the end of the day, that it was a good night for him to do all the dishes on his own, but I had to do every single dish we came out of the kitchen tonight. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Good. So shut the up, yeah? Yes, chef. Whatever, right? If he's gonna get pissed off at me and start calling me names because I'm tired, then so be it, right? But this is what I gotta do to to keep up with the bills that I have right now. Next day off, you spend with me, huh? Are you ready for your bill, or would you like some more time? No, we don't want any bills. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their problem is, but anyways. Um... <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening. Have a nice evening. Bye. I wonder if they filled in the comment card. <laughs> That's a real question. Hey, Stephen, did they fill in the comment card by chance? Uh, we're first table here. Yeah. No, they didn't. Mm -hmm. They sure had a lot to say, but yeah. I was just curious about the comment card. No, that was one. This is another one. I chose Brent to be my associate, but I start to have my doubts. Smells fishy. Yeah. No good. Yeah, I don't think Brent realized what he got. Because, you know, if you're on the sauce, if you do the sauce, it's, you know, the best job the, in the kitchen. And I think there's no way back. I make him change places with Cassandra, even if he doesn't like it. I just had a feeling that today wasn't going to be a good day. And that wasn't good because we had 22 people coming in for a media lunch. I'm really upset with the way the tips are being handled. It's not right. It's not like this anywhere in the hospitality industry. You're right. You're I'm venting. I'm good. sick of this shit. Sure enough, when I walked in, the servers were having a meeting, and Maggie was the ringleader. What's going on? I need money the same reason anybody else needs money. I have bills to pay. I told you I would be here early so that I could get that stuff taken care of. But please understand that I'm dealing with a company that I don't own. So these are not my policies, these are not my rules. I'm getting separated cash tips and separated credit card tips. I know, so which it's is a little ridiculous. Bit, well, tips. how are we so supposed to event. even the the Can I finish? Like it? Take a moment, go outside. You, you don't let any speak. Moment. Take a moment, go outside. Excuse me. I'm trying to do the best that I can do for you guys, so you're not letting me speak. So fine, you're irritated, go outside. Have fun, walk. When you're ready to talk and listen, you can come back. I want to see the paperwork on all the tips. I want to see the cash out reports. I want to see everything because right now I don't feel like anything's being handled properly. And I'm on my period. Started today. This time around, we are not the owners of the restaurant. Daniel Frankel is. And he has his own accounting methods, which I knew would pose a problem. It's not that I'm holding on to your money. I promise you I don't have it. I'm not lying about it. This is the way this company's run. They're not going to change it because Maggie has a phone bill. Jeffrey, so. Maggie's walking, so I, I don't want her here during this. The trainees just don't seem to get the importance of this day. We're 30 minutes away from the VIPs arriving, and Justin is eating while everyone else is setting up. You're doing this the most inopportune time. Like, you can eat, but everyone else is setting up. This I is a big here, I thing. was here an hour and a half early before you might call time. I know, but you could have eaten. Doesn't matter if to I me had if you're food here. To eat, I would have eaten it. Ask the chef always to make you food. Yes, yes. Because you me. I ran a slice of toast since 7 in the morning when I had to get out of bed. So I don't give a I'm eating. And then, like I needed this, trouble walks in the door and all hell breaks loose. Hi, Hi Tommy, Miana. how are you? Cut to the chase, because I'm busy. You're here for your money? Here, I guess I'll talk to Chef, too, for a minute. He's Is he? really busy now. Is he? We've got media chefs. Yeah, I'll have your money. I can give you the chuck, and if you want to Well, no, back. I mean... What are you nodding your head like that for? Why did you... Shaking your head at me for some Why reason. Shaking your like, head at you. What are you talking about? She didn't, she wasn't even talking to you. What the f are you doing? Eh? Huh? Half an hour. I'm a f loser. I'm gonna walk right. Don't f with me. This is a very special party. I can do it with Jeffrey alone. You wanna go, but don't start f right now. It's half an hour before this event. I was here an hour and a half. I don't care. I I'm telling you what I'm telling you right now. It's two o'clock at two thirty. I've got twenty-two VIPs here. I mean it. Calm down. I will. Thank you. Next. Let's yeah. go quick. Well, uh, can I have the check, my money now anyways, yeah, first? Yeah. Please, come back at five. I will. OK. Um, yeah. That you, you have to figure out on yeah, your own. And if there's an issue, I'll speak to Stephen about it, OK? Yep, I'll be back. OK. Justin, you don't calm it down. You're not going to be with me today. I can guarantee you that. And you need to start helping us out. OK, we're here today. 
Okay, go. Where are you going? Are you okay, Justin? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I know you're not fine. She doesn't need people like me there, plain and simple. You know, I'm not at the right state of mind. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I look at people the wrong way sometimes. I don't know where Justin went. He probably went to hopefully not do anything bad. Look, look. Hmm? Pay attention. I'm paying attention. Today, we planned a VIP lunch to promote conviction. We have some of Vancouver's top chefs, as well as local media celebrities, so it's vital that we make a good impression. So we're down to two people, plus Jeffrey and Biano. It's 50 minutes to showtime, and Jeffrey and I have to serve alongside Zoran, Itar, and Lena, who's come in to help out. Clearly, she knows what she's doing. It's chocolate of spring salmon with a cold gato. Let's go! Itar was at her best serving the VIPs. If there is one thing I can stand, it's people eating during service. You eat pickled onions, you. <laughs> they smell it, <laughs> Ma'am, would you like some water? Oh, what the Zorin. Zorin? Zorin? Yours? But it didn't stop Zoran from making friends with some important people. All the guests were very happy. This lady from Breakfast Television wanted to get a picture taken with me. I think it was CTV, <laughs> Breakfast Television. I don't know, wake up that early, so I don't know who she is. Pick up. The VIP service went better than expected. Having all the chefs enjoying my food is very cool. <laughs> but the event wasn't just for us to promote conviction, it was also for the trainees. So it's disappointing that Megan, Justin, and Brent weren't here. And I'm really worried that some of them have gone back to their old ways. You didn't relapse or anything, did you? Not yet. I'm on my way to you right now. Don't, mother After the media event, it was back to business as usual. But because of what happened earlier in the day, Justin was jonesing for effects and wanted his money. What's up? Uh, I just need my check and my money. You're not getting all your money, not in this state. I'm not going to take responsibility for your life. That's affirmative. So now what do you want to do about it? Take your money and do what with it? Yeah, using drugs. Can't hear you. I'm not going to let you do that. Let's go. You're not doing drugs. Come on. I understand what he's going through. I've seen it all before. All he needs is to be turned in the right direction and someone to keep an eye on him. Go. Cool. And I wish that we could have kept a closer eye on someone else. Do we know what's going on with Bren? It's not like him when he's, he's been here every day. He's been here early with me every time we've been early with Shaft. So I'm concerned he relapsed, you know. Number one, we just want to know he's OK. I'm very worried about Brent. I didn't hear from him, no, for a few days. So what I did, I called his mother just to see if she knows where he is. We're not home right now. Leave a message. We'll get back to you. Yeah, hi. Uh, my name is Mark Tuet. Uh, you know, I'm the chef at uh, Conviction. It's just regarding Brent because, uh, you know, we're a bit worried. He doesn't call us back. Uh, I don't know where he is. At least could you let me know what's going on? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Are you happy? Yes, thank Good. you very You're much. welcome. My pleasure. Our new trainee, Danielle, came after the media event. I sent her out for a makeover. And now all she needs is to be trained. So I gave Itar that job because they were friends in jail. It's good to know somebody. Like, I don't feel as uncomfortable and as nervous, you know what I mean, as I was before. We've known each other, what, three, four years? Yeah. Yeah. I was probably in both, both like all, every time, probably while you were in. Yeah, I've, I've done 11 years, so I've done 
three years, two years, two years, 22 months, 20 months, 18 months, 10 months, nine months, 20 months. And then I just got four years about um, two years ago, so. I've done um, probably about 11 years in jail out of the last 18. Um, you know, heroin addiction took me um, to bottoms that, you know, you've probably never even seen or heard of. I've been clean for four months. I just haven't worked a legit job in so many years. Like, I was a waitress for 18 months when I was, like, 14, and I'm 34, so I'm sure it's changed a lot, right? I, I thought he was dead. I also thought he died. Yeah. Because when you don't see somebody down there for a bit, I know. They're, they're OD, right? Well, he, it's uh, a small world. Justin was drug buddies with Danielle's fiance, who is now cleaned up. It gives me hope, right? I mean, the guy's got 100 days clean, and I, if you look, if you saw him months ago, you'd say it wasn't possible. Hey, get through service and just, you know, yeah. okay, keep your cool. Okay. Maggie has returned, and it seems like she's cooled down, but I still need to talk to her about this tip situation. While I have you under my watch, we're gonna do it my way. Mm -hmm. And my way is that you don't decide to have meetings without letting me know what the issue is. Not only that, you rev them up a little bit about nothing, just and walked off, because there's too much stress. I know you're stressed over your payment, but you can't stress my stuff. Don't bring your personal into my dining room. I'm a businesswoman too, okay? Okay, how are you a businesswoman? Because I've sold drugs for a long time. But that's not business, that's stupidity. It is business. Okay, you were selling drugs where? Did you have your own little, like, tent? I was selling drugs out of my home. Okay, fine. So you had a home business, fine. Yes. When this is not a home business, I'm, I'm boss, yes. and that's the way it goes. And I'm trying to work with you, but right now... You're not working with me if you're demanding things. You see, no other server here has demanded to see things. If this is not good enough for you, Maggie, I told you that today. Please leave and find... I want you to find a better job where you're happy, so you're not crying here. I want this. I don't want that. You have to understand that we can't change certain rules just because you're unhappy. Maggie is a very emotional person and she needs to learn how to keep it together during service. But for now, I'm sending her home and hopefully she'll be back fresh tomorrow. Big up. Four. Today started out as chaos, but with Maggie and Justin's issues dealt with, things calmed down and we were able to get back to work. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Sorry for the wait. Ooh. There we go, we got it all right. Justin, focus on the dish bit. Ah, I liked it. It's fast paced when the dishes started coming out yet. It's like filling up vials, buddy. Itar showed Danielle the ropes. Okay. Table five. Right. Table five, five, five. Making sure everyone has water, that'd be awesome. Okay. Please. She's beyond a superstar today. <laughs> Right. My performance was above average by far. Great performance on my part. <laughs> and Zoran was back where he feels most comfortable. Hey, put the link cut on now, Chef. Here you go, baby. Here go. I'm very proud of my girls today. They did a great job, and I have a little surprise for them. It's nice. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to go fishing. No tomorrow. way. Yeah. We go fishing tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hard work pays off. These are the days that make that whole experience worthwhile. Good day. Oh, man. Good day. I'm glad Justin is back. I don't think his blow up with Cassandra was personal. It was just stupidity. She's one of his biggest fans. The night that you all got all up, I wrote this, eh? called looking in the mirror. When you look into Miss the Miss Cassandra mirror, wrote something very special for me. I see a father with a heart bigger than most and wisdom to share with others. I see goodness, purity, and light that shines from within. I see a man willing to lead others with inspiration and passion from his soul and love. I see a man who needs to let go of his pain and take a good look in the mirror. Do you see what I see? Do you see me? I'm here with you, my friend, and I always will be. Oh my god. It's all good. Can I keep that? Yes, you can. I'm gonna rewrite it for you. It's all I can write. Wow, what what she wrote was amazing because it's, it's what she wishes I could see in myself and that what I wish I could see in myself and hope to one day see in myself. I mean become like family, you know? We gotta plan something for next week for our days off. Yeah, no, let's do it. Morning, Morning, chef. Chef. Today, I'm going to show my guys a little luxury. 
as a reward of the great job that he did yesterday, I'm going to take them fishing. After last time, we deserve it. Eh? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the girls to put up the fishing trap, and uh, Cassandra didn't like it that much, obviously. She's a vegan, but she did a great job. I don't think I'd want to do that for a living. <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> Free the crab! Free the crab! crab. <laughs> Nasty one. There's no better way to eat spotted shrimp than straight out of the ocean. Unfortunately, Cassandra didn't see it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have to kill a prawn and, and go through that experience. I would rather just let them go off the boat and enjoy their prawn lives. I put the baby one back. Nicole, on the other hand, had no problem. I didn't want Cassandra to miss out that opportunity. So finally, she agreed to try one, even though he goes against the values. <laughs> Well, I just think of it like, you know, what if someone tore my head off and peeled off my skin and took a bite out of me, but, you know. Pretty good, eh? So it's wonderful. Best thing I've ever eaten, Jay. <laughs> it was a great experience. We got a lot of shrimps to take back to the restaurant, and the girls even went for a swim. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Swimming was awesome. Yeah. We had a great time. I just wish that Brian could have been with us. Go for her. I the rat. <laughs> so proud. See you later. Bye. 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 I didn't get to go swimming, but uh, obviously. It didn't matter because when we got back into the kitchen, it was raining. Oh, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Pick up. Oh, my God, is he ever raining? We all joked about it, but to me, it's a big concern. Are you going for a cigarette? Did you ask me? No, I did not. Go ahead. Thanks. No, no. Go ahead and ask me. Oh, may I please have a cigarette? Yes, you can. Why are you so happy? Something going on? Somebody special in your life? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sort of, yeah. This person. A boy? Yeah, a boy. You're straight then, you like guys? Oh, yeah, I'm straight. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, no, like, no one else. if anything, gay for pay, but no, I'm not gay at all. <laughs> Where's the people? Well, what time is it? 8.15, so they're in... Nah. <sighs> It was a low stress night, and we were just waiting for customers. But Cassandra was busy venting to her wife. Whatever. You know what? Man? Like, <laughs> it's not you. It's everybody else. I've really seen some people just standing around doing some sweet fa. Well, like a few other people are busting their ass. She was very angry with the front of the house. Uh, Justin and Maggie's tantrum really set off. I don't have time to have issues. I don't have time to. F have little freak outs and run off out of here and be, I'll just come back when I feel like it. That's all. We're just waiting for the ceiling to collapse and then. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna make some more phone calls. There's like water everywhere, Mark, seriously. <laughs> Do you think we like it? <laughs> no, if it gets busy, this is gonna be real. Even with everything going on, I wanted to finish the evening on a good note. So I got the guys to cook all the seafood that we caught on a fishing trip. I've never had a shrimp head before. You never had a shrimp head? Okay. Can you give a shrimp I'm head? Actually... How do you eat that? How do you eat all? I don't think I can. Huh? Why? Because his eyes are on there. Well, it's good. I know it's good. They are good. That's weird. Atara never had any shrimp head before. But she was stuffing them in her mouth one after another. Reading his eyes. <laughs> it was nice to see. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Everyone seemed to enjoy our catch of the day. But 
maybe not everyone. I don't eat shrimp, and yeah, I got a job to do. I don't mean I have a bad attitude, but I'm tired. I am tired. It's, it's so getting to me. It's just like. Stop, chef. I arrived at the restaurant today just to find out that Cassandra had walked. I don't want to do it seriously. I really there's so much hot water. Right I'll just leave the kitchen and she gives everybody the attitude. No, that doesn't. For me, that's over, right? You know, I mean, I give her all the chances, but if you take me for a idiot, there is no second chance. No time for that. Casino me over. I'm really angry actually, and I'm having a hard time not. Okay. Don't, don't play? I know, but I am. This is the only thing that makes me happy. Well, <laughs> I lost about $300 at the casino today. Today? Today. That's just like my passion. <laughs> what a pathetic passion. So you losing money. Your, are you completely broke now? No, no. I have got about 85 bucks. And you're just going to go and spend that? No, I'm going to go and invest it. <laughs> <laughs> I invested in a slot machine. <laughs> I was really disappointed to hear that Itar has a gambling problem. I'm used to dealing with drug addicts, so this is a little bit unusual for me. Mm -hmm. So basically all the tips that you made and all the money you spent it, you lost Yeah, I it. spent it all there. But why? You could have bought something for yourself. I know, that's why I'm kind of mad. I'd be mad. But stop going. We are worried about Itar's gambling addiction, but someone else's possible addiction is worrying us even more. I took the call from Brent's mom. She was wondering if we had seen or heard from him, which none of us here have. They've been driving around looking for him all day. Really? What? And they went to his girlfriend's house and... Um, he left the recovery house on a good note or like to go... No, no, he went to go use. Who, Brent? Mm-hmm. How do you know he went to use them? Maybe just... His mom up. said that. Thinking that Brent had given up being clean really hit Justin into our heart. His mom said that... His ex, I guess, um, gives him money to use, and then they, she takes him to score and he shoots up in her car and stuff like that. She's, no, 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 man. That's what his mom said. I had like six months. I know. You're quite a big loser tonight. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Good. So shut the up, yeah? Yes, chef. I was very hard on Brent because I wanted him to succeed. If he has relapsed, he would be the biggest failure of the project so far. I hope he didn't. It's four different leaks, basically. Mark was joking about the leak in the ceiling, but it's getting worse. Steven called the maintenance guy, and he ended up being useless. Especially here, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the manager. Okay, thank you. looking for you too. Being behind the bar means that Zoran has fallen behind on service. So tonight I decided to bring him out and put Justin in his place. Are you okay with that in terms yeah. of being around liquor and stuff? Uh, That's not your thing, right? So yeah, not, yeah, yeah, no, you're like, good uh, with that. I'm okay, yeah. I don't have to taste them though, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Um, I'll make sure you don't. I'll tell Simon that you can't. I love that idea. Yeah? Actually. Yeah, I love the okay. new stuff. Cool, okay. Yeah. Off so, you go, boys. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Ciao. Sure. It took me like forever to do that. Uh, to me, it's kind of it seems kind of weird being like, surrounded by you know my one of my worst enemies. <laughs> I'm getting thirsty. I think it's gonna end up being too vision. much for me, man. I'll make your vegetable. That is so good. It's nice. Yeah, it's just perfect. Kidding me. It's broken now. With Brent and Cassandra A wall, Nicole got to work next to me. At first, she felt the pressure. Are you f***ing up every single day, woman? If every time you break something, you have to pay for it, you owe me money at the end of the week. But then, she actually shined.
don't even know what I'm doing. I don't feel good, man. Hey? I don't feel really good. Really? No. Things started really well for Justin, but as night went on, old demons started to surface. Mm -hmm. There's one in there. There's one in the bottom. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah. Somewhere. I don't know what happened, but like I started to feel like like I was drunk, and it just like I started to get confused, and I was just like, I gotta get out of here. I'm disappointed that Justin didn't come to us when he was first feeling sick. I asked you first, do you think you can handle it? You said yes. The moment your body and your mind cannot handle it, then you leave bartending for next year. Eventually I'll be ready, but I'm not ready right okay, now. Okay, well then we leave it. You're not doing it. So I should never have agreed to it. My old life is getting in my way of, of, of doing something different with my life. And it's, it sucks. The leak is getting worse, and no one has done anything about it. So it's time that I take the matter in my own hands. I open the ceiling and I use a flashlight to investigate where the leak is coming from. That's where it is. There's no way we can cook in this kitchen. It's a huge health risk, and we have to deal with the problem immediately. So I asked Steve to call somebody else, and this time he found somebody who is uh, actually useful, sort of. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this pump up there, and hopefully it'll stop the water. It won't stop right away. I don't know what, uh, you know, what we're gonna do. You know, Bianca, I don't know where she is, so I Can't be good. That's a good facing pipe. I believe that's our chrome. You know what we can cook when we need gas masks? <laughs> we can work through that, can't we? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me see. I had to run some errands before coming to the restaurant, but when I arrived, I could sense that something was up. Holy f Mark. Did you do that? Who did I do that? Uh, B, look at the thing. Did you touch it, though? Yeah, for sure I touched it. Uh, B, it was pissing. Why'd you cut it? I didn't cut it. If I, the moment I touched it, that's what happened. What did you touch it with? My hands. No. What At first, I broom. OK, so you touched hands. it with the broom. Yeah, and then my hands, and then everything came down. Look, it came down like Do you see that black mold? Yes. This I have never ever worked in a place with this many problems. But don't touch it anymore. Now leave it. No, I don't. Leave your equipment and your tools, the broom, leave it. <laughs> After seeing the disaster in the kitchen, there was no way we could open, so I had to let the trainees know what was going on. Obviously, you saw the kitchen, you saw what yeah. happened with the leak. Yeah. There's no way the kitchen can work. Unfortunately, you have a night off. Okay. Hi, Lee. It's Atar calling from Conviction Delilah's about your reservation for this evening. I'm sorry to, go to inform you that we've had a pipe burst in the kitchen. I think we had 20 reservations for tonight, and we had to cancel all of them. This is a disaster. I need to speak to Danielle as soon as possible and get this sorted out. Thank you for calling. Please leave a detailed message after the tone. Have a great day. Hi, Danny Albiana here. There's a really big problem in the kitchen. The leak has now um, gotten worse, to say the least. Mark cannot cook in this kitchen whatsoever. Nobody can cook in this kitchen. Uh, we can't open the restaurant tonight. Hello? Hi, Daniel. How are you? Uh, oh, I can't believe it. I just got your message. I didn't have my phone for the last couple of hours because I... I had my annual softball game. Oh, yes. Um, well, sorry to take uh, you away from it. You've got to come uh, down and see it. You, you, we, you, the restaurant cannot be open today. 
It's, it's oh, really bad. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, hold on, am I up now? Sir? Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm up to that. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, Mark and not cook in that kitchen. There's a security, obvious, and a health factor. No, when you come and yeah. see it, I mean, it's just drywall is gone, ceiling's gone. If you don't mind to come in, just just come in and take a look at it. Here, here's Mark. Hey, Daniel. Daniel, hi. Listen, Daniel, the, the thing is, what happened today, okay, uh, it's done and uh, it's nothing we can do, but what's very important, it's going forward. I'll, I'll call the uh, building manager right away. Okay, please. Thank okay, bye. But he should come right now and take a look at Ooh. it. He's, on a, he's not going to come, he's at a softball tournament. His restaurant is closed for business and there's a major league yeah, but inside what his they, kitchen. B, they, he's no, done the softball tournament. But they, he's not saying, what is he going to do? If this was my place, I'd leave the soft tournament, come and look at my kitchen. Even if he comes here, he goes, oh yeah, and then what? Having to close the restaurant for one day is a setback. But if we're not open by Wednesday, it will be devastating. The trainees have gone so far, it would be a disaster to have to let them go. There's nothing more we can do today. Until further notice, we are closed. I just hope this is not the end. Cheers. I want this. Crazy.